Hey stars, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the struggles I've had being an Animal Jam content creator. Please keep in mind that this video wasn't meant to offend anyone in any way and this is just me explaining what I've experienced being an Animal Jam content creator. So don't really take it to heart. Now here is the positive shout out of the day. How about we just get straight on with the video? As you guys may or may not know, being an Animal Jam content creator is honestly pretty hard and can be stressful at times. Especially for people like me who have to edit their own videos and come up with their own ideas. And we all have to do this in a certain amount of time. Now, you may be wondering, what, why and how are you going to do this in a certain amount of time? Like, nobody's pressuring you to do anything and you're not, like, expected to, to do anything. Well, to start, that's not exactly completely true. It's a little bit hard for me to explain, but in a way, you are pressured to post at a certain time, um, and you are expected to come up with your own original video ideas. And if not, you're probably going to get targeted by people, and it really doesn't help at all with the stressful situation that I said earlier. All in all, basically what I'm saying is that being an Animal Jam content creator can be stressful because you may or may not be um, like pushed or expected to do, to do certain things. I've had this happen so many times and it's been so bad to the point where I literally need to take inspiration from other YouTubers. I sometimes have no idea what I'm going to post for that specific day like, I'm just, my brain's going to be blank. Either I'm going to not post for that day or I'm going to have to take inspiration. And it's really stressful because, like, oh my gosh. You guys probably wouldn't understand. But if you do, um, yeah, this is what I'm going through. This next one might be a little bit of a personal reason or just, like, an opinion or whatever. But, um, the fans. You guys, the fans. Now, you probably wouldn't understand because most of you guys watching are my fans, but um, basically every time you join Animal Jam, people crowd around you and say, oh my gosh, it's Starry. And don't get me wrong, it's amazing to get recognized from the people um, that watch your um, things, your videos, but at the same time, it kind of gets old. And I promise you guys, I'm not targeting anyone, but I've had multiple people come up to my den and be like, can you please buddy me? And it's it's just a little bit, it gets old, like like I said before. Um, and they, sometimes it gets a little bit outrageous where fans act a little bit extra, like, can you buddy me? I'm gonna cry if you don't buddy me. And it gets a little bit um, annoying, but I'm not targeting anyone and please don't take this to heart because this I'm just sharing my opinion, so yeah. One last pet peeve of mine of being um, a content creator, the drama. Don't get me started about the drama. The drama is outrageous, the drama is horrible. You guys, it's to the point where like, if you say something wrong, one time your whole channel is going to get targeted for that. And like, everybody acts like I'm not a human. And everybody has to act a certain way. Everybody has to act perfectly. Well, guess what? Nobody's a human. People make mistakes. People say things wrong. And that's just life, you know? Like, and nobody's going to be perfect. So, but, and another thing is like, I think it's kind of messed up and I think it's backwards. But basically, if another YouTuber that has lots of subscribers or whatever, more subscribers than you targets you and they're wrong they're gonna be people are gonna be believing them because they have more subs and i think that's really unfair because no human is better or highly valued than another and i promise you i'm not targeting anyone but um like so let's say a very popular youtuber decides to target me for scamming and i never scammed they're gonna be the one that gets believed more because they have more subscribers and apparently they're more trusted because they have more subscribers so i'm going to be the one that loses all my subscribers for quote-unquote scamming and i think that's totally backwards i don't think somebody should be trusted um any more than anybody else that has less subscribers i don't know if that makes sense but that's just my opinion 
Anyways, I hope all of you guys enjoyed today's video, and I know I ranted off a lot, but I kind of wanted to share all of the struggles I go through being an Animal Jam YouTuber. And like I said in the beginning of the video, and in this video multiple times already, I'm not targeting anyone, and I promise you I'm not trying to, like, insult you guys, or, like, just don't take it to heart. This is just me being, me saying things from my experiences of being a YouTuber, so... Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, and yeah, shine on! Bye, stars!